Welcome back. Last time we played on the site, we made it up to 2Q. Uh, let's continue our playing of 10 minute games and see how things go. Good luck. Oh, that's right. This morning for me, I was able to see um, Shogi Harbor uh, talking about uh, Central File Rook. Um, or rather, uh, another person was teaching this Central File Rook. Um, I'm doing them a disservice by not playing it correctly, but... Um, you know, it has my curiosity just how many different ways this could be played. Alright. I've defended my center. Let's get my king out of here. My opponent is playing very aggressively. Okay, so I'm going to eventually break down the right side fourth file. Let's... Uh, whoa! Whoa there! What is this? Um, let's complete half Mino. All right. Um, hmm. My opponent is playing very aggressively and very quickly. Um, What? What is this? I will complete Mino. Okay. I don't understand. Hang on. It's like Urashino except with a bishop that doesn't go anywhere. What is this? What is this? Interesting. Are they breaking up their castle? I mean, maybe it makes sense. It's just surprising. Oh! The obvious point that I missed. Alright. Bishop's pinned for this one move. So I can do something aggressive this one move. Um... Oh, he's building Yagra. Yeah, I su oh, so he is. Yeah, the gold is going to move up there, and Yagra will have been built. Okay, that makes some sense. At least in one way. Let's take this bishop. Um... Did I miscalculate something? Hmm. 
7分 What's defending the gold? Ah, no, Tataki no Fu. Yeah, I'm playing, like, lately I've got the idea that Shogi is similar to Bug House. So if I just play with, like, reckless abandon, things will be okay. That's the sense I get. That if I just play, like, extremely aggressively, I'm probably doing something right. Uh, promoting might have been a mistake. I don't know. Interesting choice. Why would you put the rook in the center of the board? Like, unless you're intending to sacrifice it? I don't understand. There's so many other places a rook could go. They're going to pawn drop soon enough. Or not. Okay. Um. Hmm. Gofun. Thanks for the game. Good luck.
There's probably something I don't know here. Or just I'm completely unaware of. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, I'm confused. I don't have a knight. A knight would be so nice. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> well, it feels dumb anyway. Um, I'm sure it spooks my opponent, but bishop takes pawn as possible. Um, bishop takes pawn did not occur. I was trying to get king takes pawn to occur. Um... Well, that's interesting. Nanafun.
Hmm. I'm so confused. Gofun. Hmm. I messed up. That's not great. That is not great. I mean, it's fair to say I got excited. I think we can understand why. <sighs> but goodness, this is not easy. All right. Um. Hmm. Sampun. Night's in the way at this point. Like, that's how bad my position is. <laughs> that I can't get any of my pieces to coordinate. <sighs> so. This will be painful. Mm-hmm. Actually, that probably helps my opponent to have pushed this. I'm just... Because of the timer, I am not thinking clearly. The timer, among other things. So... Yeah, I can't tear away this castle. I don't have enough force to remove all their silvers. Right. So, I have no idea what to do. Um, 
other than cry. Nifu. Holding on to the rook's not going to help me, so I need to like drop it here and sack it for silver. And continue sacking and hope something positive comes of it. I think I misread this, though. Oh, they didn't drop a piece. That's surprising, because I can overwhelm that. Um, it's still not great. I think I still messed up again. I think they're just trying to take all my pieces. And that does work, but there's got to be a better way. Oh, my knight's useless as an attacking piece, so let's try to use it in defense. Oh, there goes my rook. Oops. Well, uh, I had to go. I like how there's so many pieces on my opponent's side of the board that start to, like, reduce the size of the pieces and their, uh, coma die. Just because, like, there's no way to visualize how many pieces they're holding. That's how you know that you're in trouble. It's a bluff, but I'm tired of this game. All right. I think they're toying with me. Or they're just confused. Hard to tell.
10秒。Nicely played. I thought that was mate. <laughs> They're going to wait five or three minutes until they play the mate in one. It's not mate. Okay, it's not mate in one. My mistake. All right, well played. Oh, he's trying to mate me. Okay, so I actually put up a decent resistance. I tried. Should I apply for a Menjo? Right. Good luck. <laughs> After a game like that, should I apply for a Menjo? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I don't remember how this goes. We're going to see some fun opening something or other here. Uh, the bishop's blocked the other way, so let's play this. I guess I'm playing third foul rook against this. I guess that's the plan. Wow, that's one hell of a bishop drop. I did not expect that. Because um, that bishop's not got very many places to go. I mean, it's aggressive for sure if they could force this diagonal open, but... What? That's aggressive, man. Are you serious? Are you for serious? Okay. Here, I'll put a bishop down. That seems to be what we're doing today. What's your next move, buddy? All right. Um... I forgot there was a hanging knight here, but my rook is hanging. That's my excuse. So my hanging rook is probably more important than the hanging knight. Um, knight's still hanging. Okay. Well, that got exciting. Uh, are we really going here? Okay. Are you for serious? Is this like a real opening? Okay. Check. Um. Gosh. I guess I'm prone to the same check. I can't complain too much, but... Um. I'm up a rook? I just go back here? Or I take here? Yeah, here we go. All right. Get block with a bishop or a knight if I check him. Oh, actually, I 
can just pick up the... Oh my god. That was frustrating. Alright. I am, like, tired, in case it's not clear. But yes, uh, I sacrificed a piece for nothing there. Um, and it's gonna be okay, because my position's still fine. But, yeah. Uh, that was disappointing. I mean, even in spite of all of that, my position's still okay, but that's a bit embarrassing. That is just a bit embarrassing to have effed that up. Alright, so what do we do? <laughs> Having played, no, oh no. my goodness, one hell of a mistake. How do I get back into this without, like, throwing the game? Um, my rook's not active. We're gonna bring this toward the king. They say to check is to chase, but I can pursue this king for a little bit. Yeah, he's got another knight. I'm fine. It's okay. Um, silver drop or gold drop? Silver drop or gold drop? Or neither? I don't know. Somehow this feels right. I don't know that I can justify it. I'm just playing out of emotion at this point, which is not going to suit me well. Unless I get very lucky, which I might. Alright, that will help. Uh, I have two golds in hand. Um... That is so confusing to me. So this is the point where my attack is supposed to end if they defend well. Well, how do they defend this, though? They drop a gold, but no. This is still awkward. It still has my curiosity. I get that they still have a knight they could drop. I could use a knight to attack. So I'm not so afraid of that. Maybe I should be. Gofun. Wait, why do I drop a gold instead of sacrificing here? Because the sacrifice does nothing. I mean, the gold drop is pretty useless, too. Um... Yeah, it's a good defensive bishop. I dropped this because I somehow I believe in it. I don't know why I do. 
But like I can sack a silver here and a gold there and something positive should result. If I play things right. Or maybe my rook takes here. I It's hard to track. Am I mated? I didn't think I was mated. I was pretty sure I was okay. took a little time to look and see if I were mated before I tried this. Okay. This game was strange. I'm just a bit daunted by what just happened. Um, I don't know if daunted is a word, but just like, this feels daunting. Um, Overwhelming, I guess, is the Something. better word to use. I'm probably hallucinating a lot. And there's probably mate all over the place that I'm missing. I want to drive the king back towards my dragon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Do we want to match again? No, that's probably enough games for one day, honestly. Um, so, yeah, wow, what a series. Um, we've made it to 96.3%, whatever this refers to here. Uh, yeah. That was an accurate prediction, Transport. Um, yes. Both kings were in uh, pretty severe attacks. I'm surprised mine... I think if they'd taken a turn to like surround before they tried to checkmate, that probably would have gone better. Uh, but yeah, what a result. So, very exciting. Uh, yeah. So, each game we progress... Um, I should probably keep that 81 dojo thing on here for future reference, but yep, we're crushing it. So, Shogi Wars is good fun, good practice. Well, not good practice, good fun. Um, at least if you're looking for this particular sort of fun. If you're looking for something uh, that you're going to learn from, perhaps consider something calmer. Um, but if you really want something that's action-packed and like got all the noises and sound effects and decoration then maybe this is suitable for that kind of purpose um yeah i don't know i've got strong opinions from my time on lee chess about just what playing too quickly can do for your game but um yeah we saw today and we've seen if we looked at the previous two uh, sessions we had here. There was one where I got blown out very badly. There was one where um, a couple of my opponents uh, blundered in the opening. So like, opening mistakes are commonplace it seems. We saw here I dropped a bishop and that was exciting. Uh, perhaps I should not do that. I was so excited to see a king knight fork that I forgot to check if I'm dropping the bishop in harm's way. Um, but yeah, not a bad series today, other than all the hideous blunders, which should be avoided. 
as we ascend the ranks, um, we're finding opponents who play also aggressively, which is, it's different than 81 Dojo. Um, I don't know that's better, but it's, um, uh, I don't know, some people enjoy slower games, some people claim to enjoy fast games. I don't do this, like, for more than a half hour to an hour at a time. And I don't do this so frequently, so I don't get addicted to it. But I could definitely see how this could be addictive. So, we'll see if I do ever make it up to um, one Q and one Don. And if so, then maybe we go back to 81 Dojo, because, like, this is addictive. Um, I don't want to get other people addicted to it, although might be a bit late for that so anywho that was fun thanks for watching see you next time